Hey there, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make really good log drums in just three steps in FL Studio. If you're new, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. Right here, I already have my drum track and a simple chord progression. Let's hear how it sounds. Now I'm going to be using DX10 for um, the log drum. You can have log drum samples, that works fine as well. So the log drum presets is just when you right click, just come to log drum and you see the presets in FL Studio right here, log drum. So, and this is how it sounds. I'm just playing random notes, all right? This is not with MIDI, I'm just clicking my computer keyboard. But we're going to use a mouse to create the log drum sample. All right, so now the first thing you want to do when creating a log drum sample is just play simple notes at first. Try not to start complex or do anything complicated first. And we're going to use a quarter beat first, all right? We're just going to play maybe two or three notes per chord progression, okay? Because now this is a progression, right? That this is a chord, this and that chord, this and that chord, this and that chord. We're just going to keep it really simple. So let's listen and see. I'm going to follow the chord, um, the notes that make up the chord. So let's play one here and see. Then do another one here again. Then do another one here again. Then another one here. So now this is the first thing we're going to do. Just play really simple notes, okay? We're not trying to complicate it yet, all right? So now the next thing we're going to do is, you see, before each note arrives, all right, that's in the second chord and maybe in the last chord as well. You can see try that in the third chord. That's if you, have, if you have up to four chords. We're going to do some log drum rolls, and this is really easy to do. So now we're going to toggle, right, come to a quarter step, all right? Then we're going to zoom in. So just before it lands, right, you can see just before it lands, we start it right here, but we'll reduce it, and then we paint it in. And then let's see how it sounds. And then we're going to also come right here and do something similar again. We're going to use a different time, you know, we're going to use half step and just paint, paint this in. You can then maybe add simple notes like this. All right, so now let's take it down to a lower octave and see how it sounds. Now let's increase the volume a bit and then hear how it sounds now. And then for this row right here, you can just make it fade, right? You can do this. So the third thing you can do to make your log drum sound interesting is using another log drum preset or a log drum um, sound that just sounds a bit different, okay? So you can see this one and this one. They sound the same. So it, it won't make any more difference if I try what I'm about to do now with it. So what I'll just do is I'm going to just adjust the coarse a little bit. So now it gives it a different texture. All right. So all I'm just going to do now is just play some simple notes. All right. Maybe put one here. All 
And then maybe just put another one here. Then, of course, do something here again that sounds a bit interesting. So I hope you are finding this tutorial helpful. If you are, I you're struggling with making better music, I do offer one-on-one -on -one private lessons where I'll teach you how to make better music if you're trying to make beats or you're trying to mix and master. All you have to do is hit the link in the description below that says private lessons. Fill out a simple form. Please fill it out correctly and I'll get back to you promptly. So with these steps, you can even make your log drum sound even more complex, okay? Depends on what you're trying to do, but some people even do layer it as well with a sub bars. And let me show you how to do that. All you have to do is just um, insert. I typically like using DX10, FM sub. So I have to just copy the presets, right? And then paste it in here. It's just going to sound heavier. So I hope this tutorial helps you out in making much better log drums. So yeah, my piano beats or even Afro beats. Some Afro beats these days do have a little bit of log drums in them. All right. If this helps, please hit the thumbs up so that people that need helpful videos to make better music can easily find me on YouTube. And hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with more helpful videos like this from me. I remain so classy. See you soon. Cheers.